Hey everybody, tonight we're gonna to tie a really simple, really, really effective trout fly called the skunk. Uh, this is this version is called the cryo skunk. It's a fly we sell in the shop. It's based on a kind of a classic Michigan fly that uses some basic materials and some rubber legs and gets a lot of trout to chase and eat. Uh, the cryo is a slight variation that uses a little bit shinier materials. Um, again, super easy to tie. This is a fly that you should have in your box. If you can tie a woolly bugger, you can tie this fly. It's easier. Uh, and you can crank them out in tons of fun different colors. Tonight we're going to tie olive, but uh, we have them in purple, in yellow, in black, and you name it. Uh, tan, all sorts of fun stuff. So it's worth having. Check them out. Uh, go fish them. I dare you to go fish this thing because it will catch some fish. So tonight we're using a 3761 TMC in a size 6. You can go bigger than this, definitely, no problem. I'm using about 15 wraps of lead-free wire here. This is .025, but use what you have. Uh, a little bit of weight goes a long way with this because there's not much to it, but you need to get it under the surface. Sometimes I'll tie these with cones. Sometimes I'll tie them with, you know, different stuff. But in a pinch, a lot of times we'll just put a little teeny uh, split shot right above the eye and that'll get it down. So let's start our thread. I'm just using black six out here. It doesn't really have to match the fly in this situation. Uh, but six odds about all you need. You can use 140 if you like to. First material we're going to use is called Shimmer Fringe. Uh, I don't see a lot of people check this out at the shop, uh, which is too bad. It is a great way to add a lot of flash in a hurry. It comes in these big ironed sheets like this. And they've ironed the top piece and all the, the pieces down low are loose. So all you have to do is trim away what you want. See, there's multiple sheets like this. Trim away what you want, which is not much. I'm just using a little chunk like this. All right, and we're gonna lash that down. It's gonna have a flash tail off the back. And the traditional pattern, which you may have seen, uses white calf tail. All right, so fix that down. Trim your excess. Measure your back off. I use my vise for this, but we just trim that flat. Pretty straightforward. This can be saved for later or toss it up to you. Next thing you're tying in is some standard woolly bugger chenille. Pretty straightforward. This is olive. This has a little bit of flash in it. You can use, you know, something flashier if you want. The standard fly, the original, uses a standard rayon chenille without the speckles of flash. Really smart thing to do here is expose the core. So I just use my fingernails here, my thumbnail. And this, this piece right here, this is what I want to tie down. Okay, pinch wrap or just a loose wrap there. I may have to slide this back. Perfect. Okay. That's in there. Next come our legs. Uh, were you just using some silly legs and clear with a pearl flake? Legs is totally personal preference here. I still have a big, you know, affinity for white legs. I think white is the big trigger with this fly. But I kind of like these clear ones matched with the pearl. And what I'm going to do here is take one leg, fold it in half, trim it. And I'm using one leg at a time here. And I'm just folding it over my thread, which allows me to place it exactly where I want. Two wraps on top of it. Oops, that one slipped. That's okay. You can wrap in front, you can wrap on top of, doesn't matter. Fold those out of the way. Wrap up over your wire. 
create a little thread dam up top. I super glue my wire in so it doesn't like to go many places, but you may want to do that. Then at the very front of the wire, one more set of legs, just like we did in the back. Fold it in half, trim it. Make sure you got those secure, pull them back, wrap your thread to the eye or just before it about an eye length back because we're going to tie off that wooly bugger chenille and create a thread head at the end. All right, this is actually the toughest part is trying not to wrap down on these legs. And if you have a rotary function, this is a great time to use it. But without, it's not too tough. Like I said, you can crank a bunch of these out. And I'll tell you why I'm wrapping this. We get a lot of looks when, when we say, uh, oh, you should fish a skunk today in the shop. And people always come back and say, you know what, you were right. This simple little thing just got fish to chase. And I think it's a reactionary strike we get. It doesn't look like anything, um, but... If I know one thing, it's fish love rubber legs, and this thing has it. And, yeah, it looks silly, but uh, it's saved the day for a lot of guides over the years, and uh, it continues to be just a staple in all of our fly boxes. So wrap that off. Got that to spin there a little bit. Okay, wrap in front. Trim that off. Careful not to trim your legs here. You want those legs. All right. Now take your whip finish. Fold your legs back. And give us a good, nice, simple little thread head. You can do one or two whip finishes. Up to you. You can glue it. You can do whatever. I try and tie piles of these because we go through them. We bend out the hooks. We stick them in the wood. You know, we want to tie a fly we're not afraid to lose. Next step, you can see here the legs are a little bit long. I like to, I just use the width of my finger actually as a loose guide for how short these should be. Uh, find something you can use that's consistent because you want some length to them, but you don't want them to be too short. I may have made the front ones too short, but uh, they'll still fish, no worries. And that's the fly. That's it. I know. Silly, right? But uh, like I said, I dare you to go fish this and uh, for half a day. See what happens. We fish this usually downstream, across, and twitch it. It's a twitch bug. That's what we call it. And those twitches get these rubber legs moving. And it just shows that fish something that's trying to get away. And they just they smash it. We tie singles. We tie doubles. Um, all sorts of different variations and they all work. Try this fly out. You will not be disappointed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you out there in the water.